Hey, I'm Chris. <laughs>
a job that a lot of people have because it's available uh, and it works with your schedule and why not put myself in that place where people and young people are passing through and we, it's kind of we just set them on their way to, de to their destiny and so that's my goal at Purify. So whenever you buy coffee from Purify, you're supporting an organization that is cheering on and fueling the next generation of leaders. You're also supporting an organization that is uh, pouring into our current local initiatives that uh, appreciate and lift up the human life. Uh, and also, we're not doing this with compromising quality. That is not our goal. We're not trying to, uh, this isn't a nonprofit. This isn't, uh, we're not looking for a handout. We want to put in your hands something that is so delicious on your taste buds, but at the same time, it's so delicious on your heart because you see what we're doing. We're at farmer's markets with these young men, teaching them through the service of coffee how to communicate. How to, how to operate with excellence, how to um, engage with people, how to uh, do what you're doing with pride. So with our mission being so connected to people and us using coffee as an avenue to be a part of that change, we thought what a better name than Purify. The purification process in roasting coffee happens when the flame from the roaster influences the coffee beans and takes them from a place of undrinkable, undesirable uh, uh, coffee bean, little green actual seed that you don't want to drink, you can't consume, and you just don't desire to have it to something that is so delicious, so desired, and, and craved by our culture here in America and many cultures across the world. And what's cool about it is each one of those beans will have its own characteristic, its own trait. And as a roaster, we have to apply its own type of approach to it with, the, with different type of processes that we bring in for coffees, whether it's a fully natural, fully washed, honey processed, anaerobic, uh, decaf, whatever it may be. And I feel like God does the same thing. He did it for me. I was completely unenjoyable as a person, but God took a hot situation for me. And for me, it was prison. I know that prison was the purification process for me that stripped off the things that were undesirable in my life and brought to life who I really am. This road hasn't been easy. It's full of challenges. It's full of disappointment. It's full of excitement. It's full of the unknown. And man, if I didn't have my wife cheering me on and encouraging me, uh, I don't know if I'd be here. She can see the vision because she's kind of not in the middle of it. But when you get in the middle of it, uh, you get so excited, you make a few mistakes, but it's so great to have her voice there and have her speaking what I spoke to her years ago and reminding me the purpose of why I'm here. So what does Purify look like as we grow? Uh, my heart is to build up this roastery where we're at right now and employ young men uh, from the age of 14 all the way up to 16, 17 as they move forward, hopefully into education. We are super excited about what's going on at Purify and what we see in the future of Purify. We have our second roaster on the way coming from San Franciscan, and we are stoked about the quality of that machine. I envision four or five coffee roasters with four or five different young men or young women that are in here learning what purpose is and precision is and their passions are being ignited. I envision those same young men helping me source the next crop's coffee. Uh, visiting origin with me, choosing the coffee, meeting different cultures, getting outside of their own box to see what real life looks like and not being so caught up in our little bubbles. What does that mean for us? That means the bigger we grow, the greater impact we have. So every time I see our sales continue to increase, every time I see another order go out the door, I'm excited because we're gonna get to the point where we need another person and we need another person and we need another person. And the more people we get in here, the more mentors and leaders we get in here, the more impact we can have on the next generation. So what does that look like? That looks like four or five roasters in here. That looks like four or five farmer's markets that we're working. That looks like our coffee being in grocery stores, specialty grocery stores. That looks like our coffee being appreciated and carried by more cafes. Uh, that looks like us venturing into cafe experience. So we're just so excited 
we're committed to quality right now. We're pouring into the young men that we already have on our team now. And we're looking forward to the growth that we're going to have because that means we'll be able to touch more lives.